Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Academy. Welcome to the session on 15-10-2022 newspaper base. So in today's newspaper session, I'll be taking up Delhi's, not Bangalore's. Uh, sorry for the delay, mainly because like you know we could not download it on time. They, it was not available in the morning and uh, now we have got the Delhi one but not Bangalore one. So I thought I'll go ahead rather than missing out the paper. This Himachal poll on November 12, Gujarat on hold for now. So I hope you people are aware how exactly elections will happen. Election Commission will announce a date. Now if you see, like you know, November 12th is the date. And once the date is being announced, right, then what is going to happen? There must not be any promises to be made. That means no central government or state government projects will be allowed to be approved or to be inaugurated. The reason for this is like you know you should not use the state machinery to influence. So that is like model code of conduct and uh, Himachal Pradesh is going on November 12, no need of the dates and all. Just trying to explain this. That's it, guys. Eight years after arrest, High Court acquits former DU professor in UAPA case. See the horrible situation, guys. A professor who is physically disabled was arrested eight years back and the court case was going on and now he is released. Now there are two aspects into it. First let us see why he was arrested. In 2014, government came up with a new terminology called as urban naxals. When they said urban naxals, urban naxal doesn't mean who is taking up the weapons and who are fighting. Urban naxals are the one who take, they can know, newspapers, education and through this they try to spread Naxal ideology into the people or let us say there is a Naxal attack. Some people are being killed. Then these Naxals will try to defend them. They say these many Indian army people are killed by Naxals. It is good because army people were killing these many poor people. Like you know, they try to create an environment where people believe that Naxals are correct and government is wrong. So urban Naxals are the one who try to create mindset in the people that government is wrong and Naxals are correct. So this they wanted to reduce. Moreover, that would indirectly help certain urban people also to join Naxalism. Now he is being released, but still the state government is telling that we will again file a case and we will ask the Supreme Court to interfere why he is being released. So this is the issue. That is there, nothing much to write because we have to wait and watch what the Supreme Court and all are going to tell. Now, a similar case has happened in Jammu Kashmir, guys. There is a new word called as narrative terrorism. Right? What is the meaning of narrative terrorism? Through books, through social media, through YouTube channel, you keep on creating articles which tries to show that Indian state is killing innocent people in Jammu Kashmir. And that will make the people to lose confidence in the government and they may take up arms or they may start sympathizing terrorists and support terrorists. So, the Jammu Kashmir police has filed a case saying that the person is a narrative terrorist. 
सो गेस द वर्ड नरेटिव टेररिज्म अर्बन नक्सल्स यू कैन यूज इन योर एग्जाम्स Will electoral bonds reveal the source of funds? Supreme Court asks Center. I want you people to be aware that today, if anyone wants to fund political parties, then it has to be through electoral bonds. And what happens now? I want to donate it to Karnataka Party, right? So what I will do? I will go to the bank. I will take an electoral bond. Right of two thousand rupees, and I will write Congress there, or I will write BJP there. Then what is going to happen? That money will be paid to the account of Congress Party. So any money going into the account should go through electoral bonds. So ultimately, they will get to know how much money. the political party has got but the problem here is who gave now i gave 2000 rupees to congress my name will not be known so when my name is not known ambani adani tata they can know and others may start giving 100 crores 1000 crores to one political party and they might not give more money to other political party earlier you have to tell how much money you gave to a political party now ambani or adani need not tell to whom they are giving and how much they are giving so what is going to happen congress may get more money or bjp may get more money from a particular business person but the opposition will not know how much money he got basically if you take ambani adani or anyone every political party will go to them and ask them please give us money at this point of time they like, you know now they will tell see you gave 1000 crores to bjp you give me 500 crores at least that bargaining will be there but now ambani will tell i gave only 50 crores to bjp i am giving you 100 crores you take so what is going to happen people will not be aware who gave how much so this congress doesn't like and congress has filed a case against it and congress has asked there is no transparency so the court is now asking will electoral bonds reveal the source of funds that means will electoral bonds tell us who is giving the money actually that cannot be known so let us see what is going to happen guys guys i'm really not aware what is the news in uh, like you know bangalore edition so uh, if i have missed anything i think we will be covering in other areas don't worry Now, guys, let's quickly get into the editorial one. Yeah. You might have heard today is International Day of Rural Women, and on this day, this article is trying to talk about the role of rural women in livestock farming. See, guys, animals. If we raise, it is called as livestock farming, and we are all aware. in a house if you have two acres of land father will take care of the land and mother will take care of the cattle so livestock is normally done or taken care by the cattle so this article is trying to say the role of women in this cattle and when we talk about dairy farming again it is women who is mainly participating sheep it is women who is mainly participating kitchen gardening household dairy paddy like you know husking biofuel all these are mostly done by women so 
woman role must be considered i want you people to write here woman role in livestock farming this this is under economic geography both economy and geography comes into picture woman role in livestock farming you write below livestock livestock is 5% of is 5% of gdp national income 5% of national income and 28% of agricultural gdp next point in the last 6 years in the last 6 years livestock sector livestock sector grew at grew at 7.9% and agriculture and agriculture only at 2% next point majority of the women majority of the women who work who work in this are approximately are approximately 72% next point even in dairy farming even in dairy farming women contribution women contribution is extremely high yeah. so guys this is the facts that are important remaining you can leave now guys no time for praise bo guys this is about the gambia issue where india has asked a particular company to stop manufacturing because of what they have done to the poor people there indian deep tech and a case for strategic fund they are actually trying to say that you need a fund so that we can focus on strategies like you know for uh, semiconductors 5g and many other things not so important is here i just want you people to look at another most important one another most important one that is you see there is an asteroid which was in the solar system whenever this asteroid or meteoroid enter into earth's atmosphere it may come and hit us the fear we have is it is believed a very big meteor hit the earth and dinosaurs became extinct so in future such event must not happen so if any asteroid is trying to come towards earth then we should try to change the direction of the asteroid 
and protect earth from the asteroids this is our mindset so nasa what it has done there was an asteroid it was not coming to hit earth but we wanted to test so what we did we took a satellite and that satellite went and hit the asteroid and when the satellite hit the asteroid the asteroid direction changed a bit and it started moving in a new orbit which indicates which indicates that there is a possibility of changing the orbit whenever any asteroids are coming to hit earth so the test is successful is what it is trying to tell right and the space craft that was used was dart double asteroid redirection test fine and the asteroid which we hit was called as didymos fine so names guys what is didymos what is dimorphos upsc or many other exams they may ask you you can just write that that is more than enough okay this is about uh, the human killing case that happened so don't worry about it team shashi tharoor mallikarjun karge they are talking about elections guys sai baba acquittal it is about the case that i told you urban naxal case so the entire page is gone for that plea to study shivling rejected guys in gyan vapi there is shivling and many people are asking we need to study it to know when it was actually uh like you know brought in and what is the cultural aspects associated with it and all so no need to look into it let's quickly get into why inflation is at 35 year high again political issue not so important this fir plea on crackers ins arihant carries not required guys this is important global hunger index is out india in serious category at rank 107 can you imagine the score of india is 29.1 and out of 121 countries india is ranked at 107 and india is below countries like rwanda nigeria and all this this is important when we talk about development and many other factual data it's very important for you to write at least about this so you can write there global hunger index global hunger index india 107 rank below rwanda and nigeria fine yeah so guys nothing else don't worry about the other aspects india china agree for more military talks uh, they are agreeing to talk guys nothing much attack on india in australia comes at a time when more students seek it as a foreign education destination 
is indians especially telugu speaking people are being attacked in uh, australia so after us it is australia where most of the people will be going now that will be having severe effect is what it is trying to tell fine nothing much don't worry so guys world also the news is not so important nothing much today yeah so sorry for the delay guys i hope uh, the video is helpful thank you guys